So here's a walkout. Again, an exercise that I'm using with patients who are pretty much in their 70s to 80s to super fit people. And of course, it's all a question of making sure that you're individualizing the action for the ability of your, of your patients. And so there's nothing that we can't do with patients. We've just got to fix the exercise so it fits them. So I'm going to do what we call a walkout. And again, here's how I try to teach with uh, when we're trying to teach the sort of queuing action for everyone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to come down, push the bottom back a little bit so that they develop the hamstring stretch. Now, for many people, they can't get to the floor. That's absolutely fine. And you may have to work with people for a period of time to even try and get them to the floor. But for the purpose of this demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way out. So, what we're going to do again is push down, roll down, you can let the spine flex and then you can bring the hands to the floor. Remember, many patients won't be able to come to this position, so you've got to develop that over time. And again, that's part of the progressive overload. But we're, then what we're going to do is we're going to walk out. Now, in this position, you start to get that static strength work through the shoulders and increasingly you're going to get the abdominals and the trunk groups all involved here. So now what I'm doing is I'm being very secure with my placing, shoulder blades down and back, I'm squeezing the thighs, a little bit like a push-up hold. But I can take that even further now and I can continue to walk on. Now in this position, I'm really starting to get a lot of work in my abdominals. And again, I might just want to change my foot spacing so it's slightly wider, and then again, go again. So the progressive overload, how hard you make this exercise, is really about how far you go and what you're capable of doing. Because once you get to this position, your lower back is going to be probably the first place that fails. So you don't want to start to be getting any lower back pain. It really is pelvis under work in the trunk. And then you've got to be strong enough to walk out. Now, importantly, again, is that there's no point going too far out if you aren't capable at some stage of being in control and walking back. So that is a variation of what I call a walkout with good abdominal work at the end.